Hi, hi, hi! Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be here today. We are talking about how to suppress hunger, suppress your cravings, and curb your appetite. Yes, 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 yes! The most exciting thing to talk about, right? Especially during quarantine. How the hell do we suppress our hunger, suppress our crazy cravings, right? And curb our appetite. Girl, I will tell you, hands down, since I've been home more often, the refrigerator, the kitchen is like too close for comfort. So how do we suppress hunger? First and foremost, ask yourself four questions. If you have a pen and paper, get it out now. Get it out now. Yes. Really determine if you are actually hungry or you're just having a craving. These four questions will kind of help narrow that down for you. Number one, honestly, when was the last time you ate? Has it been hours, days, you know, was the last time you ate was the night before? A lot of times, and even with intermittent fasting, we really don't get hungry like so often unless we're just having a craving because our blood sugar level is going crazy, right? So first question, when was the last time that you ate? Has it been so long that you literally need food and are hungry? You know, if you just had a crazy hardcore workout or, you know, certain things are different but for the most part what was the last time you ate number two what exactly are you craving okay this is a good like way to decipher is it salty is it sweet or is it something like a salad or a fruit or some protein like meat or chicken or salmon okay so if we are craving the sugar and the salt, we are either dehydrated or again, our blood sugar level isn't balanced, okay? So you're just having a craving as opposed to actually needing nutrition, right? Yes. Number three. Do you have signs of actual like craving pains or are you lightheaded? Right? If you're not lightheaded and you're not feeling like, ah, and if you do have really bad pains, go to the doctor, okay? <laughs> Common sense a little bit. Let's use it here. Um, so yeah, are you having actually, do you, do you need food because you don't feel well? You know, your body literally needs nutrition to get back to normal, okay? And number four, when was the last time you had water? A lot of water? Dehydration is so common in 75% of the people around you. Dehydration. And it, what's funny is that we all know that we have to drink water, but we don't. Why? Because we go after the coffee, right? Or we go after the green tea, or the wine, or the beer, or the soda. Like, what? It's because the other stuff tastes good because the other stuff has sugar. When your insulin level is high, the fat burning process cannot cohabitate at the same time. So take that into consideration when you're eating all that sugary food or having all those sugary drinks. Okay, so yes, we're talking about hunger and appetite suppression, but if you also want to lose those extra few pounds, and stop eating all the crap. Remember, every time you pick up that sugary drink or that sugary food substance, that fat burning process cannot take place at the same time when your insulin levels are too high. When your insulin levels are low, that's when fat burning can begin, right? The body releases that, those fat cells so you can burn them up for energy. But when insulin level is high, it doesn't happen. And remember that every time you have too much sugar and your insulin level spikes in your body, that fat burning cannot happen during that process. So if you are out there and trying to maintain or lose weight, 
constant sugar or constant high levels of insulin in your body will not allow that process to happen. Fat burning will not happen if you're constantly having sugary drinks, foods, etc. Get it? Okay. I just hope I make that clear because that is something that a lot of people just need to know. So this gets me to my first tip, you guys, and we're going to dive right in. So first tip for suppressing hunger and cravings and curbing that appetite is what we've just been discussing. Stabilize your blood sugar levels. Oh, boom. <laughs> Mic drop. Stabilize your blood sugar levels. Okay? When we do this, when we stabilize our blood sugar levels, we don't feel cranky, tired, hungry, hangry, right? I get hangry and it's not pretty. Literally, it's not pretty. We don't want to, just like this hairdo right now, it's not pretty. <laughs> We do not want to allow our bodies to get to that point of being hangry. So, how do we stabilize our blood sugar level? Two popular ways to stabilize blood sugar level. Number one, I kind of touched on already. Intermittent fasting. Ha 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 ha. I know it's a huge fad. But I've been doing it for two years. I've also done much research on it. Because I have cystic fibrosis, a genetic lung disease, whenever I get into any type of nutrition or workout plan or whatever regimen, I always do like deep, deep research. Not only for myself, but for you guys, right? I'm not preaching stuff that I haven't personally done myself. When I am training any client, working with any woman, because I train women, I want to make sure that I am giving them the validated, correct information. Stuff that I personally have come across, right? Because if I'm putting somebody through something, I want to know how it feels. And I, so I have a better understanding, right, of what that person is going to go through, right, on their journey. So intermittent fasting, there are many ways. But basically, intermittent fasting is a time window right, in which we fast, and a time window in which we feast, eat, okay? So during the process when we're fasting, our blood sugar level comes down, right? It's low. So when our blood sugar level and our insulin levels are low, right, fat burning can begin, and our bodies aren't going through crazy spikes with our insulin that's going to make us feel hungry, have those cravings, feel that like hangry, starving, tired, groggy feeling. Intermittent fasting is not for everybody. I'm not telling you to go out and do it. Please do your own research as well. It works for me. It's worked for many of my clients. Okay. If you want to learn a little bit more, you know, Google it, look at quality information. Okay. But because Intermittent fasting works for cravings is because it lowers blood sugar level, which allows our body not to have those insulin spikes so we don't constantly have those cravings. The second way we could lower insulin levels and stabilize our blood sugar is to make sure that when we are eating foods, it is packed with good macros. So we have not just carbohydrates, right? Not just the unrefined sugars that are going to go up and down that's gonna bother our insulin levels we're pairing our carbohydrates with a good protein and fats okay fats and proteins will help stabilize your blood sugar level not completely I'm not saying it's gonna keep it low because it won't no any food you put in your body will elevate your blood sugar level fats does not elevate it as much as carbohydrates. But when we do eat food, if we are pairing our potato or rice with a good protein and a good fat, it balances out our blood sugar levels. 
balances out, keeps the balance. So it's not spiking and going crazy because we're just having sugar or unrefined pasta, right? So we want to keep it balanced because if you're just going in there and eating french fries, guarantee you you're going to have cravings and you're going to feel like shit later on. Okay, so if you want to help yourself not crave or have those like late night snack feelings, you know, and then feel ugh, and then you're regretful, then make sure when you do eat, we're having all the macros in the meal. Again, protein, carbs, and fats. Tip two, another great way to help suppress hunger is to eat voluminous foods first or within the meal. What is voluminous foods, you ask? Salads, greens, fiber, yes. When we are packing our stomach with almost little to no calories, yet it's dense and voluminous, it's gonna expand your stomach. Okay, so it's gonna make you feel full. When our stomach expands, it releases a hormone called leptin. Leptin tells the brain, I'm full. So you don't eat as much. Okay? So that is a helpful tip that can do wonders. Before, during your meal, have a lot of good fibrous vegetables that are going to fill and expand your stomach, make you feel full, so the other foods that you are eating, whether they're healthy or not, I'm just saying, you're not going to consume as much from the other sources because your stomach is so full of all those dense, nutritious foods. Okay, and it also helps to balance out your blood sugar levels. It is a win-win, you guys. Okay, so we're not overeating and we're balancing out our blood sugar levels. So later, we're not also craving brownies, chocolate, cake, ice cream, blah, 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 blah. Yes? Are you with me? Do you feel me? Do you feel me? Tip three, to curb your appetite and suppress hunger. Oh, water. So boring, but so true. Again, I said this in the beginning of the video. Most of us are walking around dehydrated. When we are dehydrated, our body does not function properly, right? You feel lightheaded, your skin is dry, and yes, you will have cravings because it will start to mess with your hormones when you're not fully hydrated. Your body isn't functioning right, your hormones will go out of whack, and you will thus feel hungry. When really, you are probably only thirsty for water. So hydrate your body. Again, hydration or let's say we want to expand the stomach, right? Like we talked before. When we eat voluminous foods, it expands the stomach, makes us feel full. When we drink a lot of water because we are dehydrated and we drink enough water, it will expand our stomach, releasing the hormone leptin, telling our brain we are full then we are not overeating, right? We're not overindulging ourselves, okay? Isn't that amazing, you guys? Please, drink your freaking water. If it is that boring to you, get creative. There's so much stuff on Pinterest and my website. <laughs> Slip that in there. What, what, what? If you guys are on Pinterest, which check most out Love Your Fit Body, show your girl some love. I am so excited, you guys, about it. Side note, though, I went from literally like four monthly views because I was barely on there to 20,000 in three days. Hello! So I'm kind of excited about it. It's Love Your Fit Body on Pinterest. Just saying. Okay, let's get back to the tip. Tip four. <laughs> Let me say that right. Tip four. How to suppress your hunger. Okay. Sleep. Sleep, you guys, is essential. Why? Why is sleep essential, Shannon? Let me tell you. Because it balances out your hormones. When our hormones are balanced, our body functions regularly, right? 
We want our body to function properly. Because if it's not, again, our insulin levels, our hormones are gonna go crazy. When you are not getting enough sleep, and I mean deep sleep, not just like, you know, you're up all night, you're thinking, you're just lying in bed. No, I mean actual sleep will balance out your hormones. Sorry, my hair is like in my armpits. <laughs> we, are, we don't have enough sleep. Our body raises cortisol. Cortisol is a hormone, a stress hormone, that actually holds on to fat. Also, release a hormone called ghrelin, which makes you feel hungry. What? So you're telling me, Shannon, that if I don't get enough sleep, my body is actually going to release a hormone that makes me constantly feel hungry? Well, yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. So sleep, 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 sleep. We do not want cortisol that's going to make us fat. We don't want ghrelin that's going to make us hungry. And the combination of both is just a disaster. So when we sleep beautifully seven to eight hours, we balance our hormones, which balances out our blood sugar level. Thus, we are not having cravings and we are suppressing our hunger a little, right? So it's a win-win. Tip five for suppressing hunger is sometimes, not always, but sometimes we do need to add in a supplement in our bodies. Sometimes we lack certain nutrients, right? Especially women. We are low on iron or magnesium or zinc or our body doesn't digest well. That will throw off, right, our whole system. So when we are not balanced and have the right micronutrients within our own bodies, we don't function properly or our hormones go crazy. So what we have to do is sometimes supplement. You know, in order to kind of find out what you're lacking in micronutrient wise, go to your doctor, get blood work, do what you have to do to figure out what you may be deficient in. If you are deficient in something, that is a good place to fill in gaps with a supplement here in front of me that I'm gonna show you. And these, I take daily, this is just basic. This is basic, you guys. I'm not gonna go crazy with everything that I take because again, my body is different than your body. So if you have deficiencies and you need to fill that gap in, go to your doctor <clears throat> and find out the best supplement for you. Make sure it is a high quality source, okay? Don't just get the crap tablet from like the dollar store. I have seen people do that and I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> no, no, get a good quality capsule or liquid, something that your body can digest easily so that you actually get the benefit. You're not just peeing it out. So some of the basic stuff that I take, a multivitamin, ladies, if you need to balance out your system and you don't have a multivitamin, do it especially if you're starting a fitness regimen and your body's moving more, okay? Everything's gonna be used up faster and need multivitamin. For me personally and most people, magnesium, okay? Magnesium. Women, this is one of my favorite omegas. Wait, <laughs> omega, sorry the light is like crazy. But this has fish oil, Evening primrose and flaxseed. Okay, it supports health, heart health, <laughs> flexible joints, and radiant skin. This is specific for women. It's amazing. It's from Women's Sense. I got this from the local food, uh, whole food store. Check that out. A probiotic. I use PB8, but there are plenty of good and greater ones out there. But I use a probiotic. And then especially... Now, I think it's great to add in zinc, right? Just like the basics. But if your body is deficient in something, it's not gonna function properly. When we don't function properly, right, our hormones go crazy. 
and our body doesn't function right, and our cravings and our appetite will go awry. So that is a great, helpful, last resort type of tip to take on. Real quick, let me recap before I get off of here to help suppress your hunger and curb your appetite. Number one, stabilize your blood sugar level. How are we gonna do that? Intermittent fasting does wonders and matching the correct macronutrients with each meal will help balance blood sugar levels. Two, eat voluminous foods. Voluminous foods, remember, green, leafy, fibrous foods. It'll help expand your stomach, allowing your body to release the hormone leptin, making you feel full. Number three, hydration. Again, we are, a majority of us are walking around dehydrated, making you feel hungry. We do not want that to happen. So again, drink a lot of water. When we drink a lot of water, our body will also, our stomachs will also expand, making us feel full, thus allowing us not to have overindulgence in food and have crazy craving. Or we are going to sleep. Sleep balances hormones. If we lack sleep, our body will release two hormones that are dangerous to the body. Cortisol, it will also release ghrelin, which will make you more hungry. So please get some good damn sleep, okay? Number five is if you are deficient in something, take a supplement you can balance out what's going on in your body you can balance out your hormones, thus you won't be feeling hungry and having cravings all the time. Okay, what? That was kind of a long video. These are hands down actual science back tips that are gonna help your body curb your appetite, okay? So please listen. If you have to rewatch this video, do so. If you don't want to watch the video again, you can always go to loveyourfitbody.com. Yes, loveyourfitbody.com. I have a post titled, How to Suppress Hunger, Curb Appetite, and Suppress Cravings. And it's going to go through exactly the five tips that I went through with you today. Oh, <laughs> I love Cardi B, though, when she does that. It's just so, like, oh, crap funny cracks me up like comment subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already I love you have a beautiful day till the next time <laughs>